there's the pom pom. <laughs> do you see her yourself? She's like, I haven't gotten to do this before. <laughs> what are we doing? There's the baby. They were the cutest little boys. So all through the night last night, uh, Drew and I kind of took turns making sure everybody was good. We've been kind of worried about um, little girl because um, <laughs> get you in the frame here. So we'd been kind of worried about little girl um, because she was so small that if Pom Pom really put any weight on her, it she probably wouldn't survive it. And the puppies get kind of crushed under mom and like in her arms and stuff um, all the time throughout the night. And so we were taking shifts, just checking on her. And when Drew um, checked on her at about, um, he was up with them about 5.30, getting everybody latched. And he said that she seemed much weaker than the last time that we had been up with them. Yeah, she was, um, she was, so, um, she was with Pom Pom, um, but she was just kind of like, uh, she was, uh, at 530, she was just tucked up into one of Pom Pom's folds and kind of, uh, snooze to the, uh, the two boys. And when I moved her, I then moved the little girl. And like Elizabeth said, she was she was alive. She was just really weak. I tried to it get her. It was kind of bizarre because yeah. it just seemed really It was almost like another. Sudden. Yeah, it was almost like another orange. Um, oh, goodness, what are you doing? Um, another Agent Orange situation where. She was teeny tiny. We were over us, but oh, but anyway, so um, he got her with pom pom napping, and um, we turned on the news, got Bradley onto the bus, and then I came back to double check, and she was not breathing any longer. Yeah, and that was probably about an hour later, hour and 15 yeah, minutes later, 6 53. And so she, um, unfortunately, our our little little girl who was under a hundred. What are you trying to do? Are you trying to are you making sure that he's okay? It's okay, yeah, he's okay. Um, yeah. So unfortunately, she just she didn't make it. She did gain weight. She, we thought that she was doing well. Yeah, she gained as of last night. She had gained uh, four grams. So we were Hopefully. really surprised. We were really yeah. We were yeah. really um, cautiously optimistic, but I think we started. We started to probably um, have some unrealistic expectations considering how small she was at birth because there was a small litter. There's no reason she should have been so underweight. Um, well, yeah. Yeah, maybe. And I think we were kind of ignoring that fact when yeah. we were thinking about her prognosis. Um, you know, with the bigger litters, it makes sense that... Um, you know, they might slow down their weight gain at the end or kind of run out of room. Um, but she should have been a bigger, a yeah. higher weight. She should have been closer to her brothers. Um, so, yeah, that's the, the bad news, unfortunately, is that she passed away early this morning. She was, she was uh, warm and comfortable with her mom and her brothers. She was sleeping, and she wasn't, yeah. like... So when she was born, she was gasping for air, and we had the Ambu bag, and we were giving her breaths. And when we were checking on her and she was weak, she didn't have that um, that gasping for breath, that, that air starvation um, yeah. that people sometimes have in respiratory distress. She was, she was just breathing mm. slowly. Yeah, she was just breathing slowly, and she seemed a little bit more... Um, very weak. Yeah, weak, kind of uh, lethargic, I guess is a, is a good word, because she wasn't, I tried to get her latched, but she just wasn't very eager to, uh, to latch. 
Um, but afterwards, um, we brought... Um, Pom Pom mm. didn't seem to notice when I came over here yeah. and saw the three of them. She hadn't noticed yet, and so I brought her out to show to Drew. And, and Pom Pom followed her out. You know, she's yeah. you know how the dogs always the moms always follow us when we bring a puppy anywhere. And she followed her out. And when Drew had her in his hands, was showing her to him was when she started figuring it out. Yeah, and poor. Poor Pom Pom. You can see her, like, she's... Right now, she's she's snoodling this guy quite a bit. She was doing the same thing with the little girl, where she kept licking and trying to get her to move and to to breathe. Um, and she I could, was howling at us. And yeah, at yeah, us. she was crying at us. And then um, yeah, I could feel her her heartbeat almost as, like... When Pom Pom came up to the, uh, whoop, where are you going, buddy? Uh, came up onto the bed with us. She was, seemed pretty calm because she thought that she was okay. And then she got, like, almost, like, panicked. Um, so, I'm sorry, Pom Pom, sweet girl. Yeah. I'm such a good girl. Yeah, you're a good mama. I never noticed her little, how her hair, or her, the hair and on her ears kind of flips out like a, <laughs> she's got a hairdo. Yeah. There you go. Um, and even after we took the little girl away, I brought Pom Pom back over here and um, tried to keep her with her boys. And I shut the door to the crate and she would just sit there and howl at us. And so I opened the door and she jumped back up into the bed and was just searching the bed. And Drew was still finding a spot to put her until we could bury her. And so he wasn't in here, and when he walked back in, she had this look of hope on her face that just broke my heart. And when she saw that he didn't have her, it was just, it was crushing. Like, I, I know that they, like, they say the dogs don't feel some of these emotions, but I just don't buy it. Yeah, like, she was so upset. Um, and it was like Robin took Mr. Brown's and Mr. Orange's passings way more textbook like yeah yeah she was very but pom pom was she seemed honestly concerned here go uh go take care and of so boys. what i did was um or what we did was we brought the boys into bed to try to kind of almost blend in kind of confuse her with who was in bed a little bit um so we kind of did that back and forth until she's She's starting to, to forget about she's it. She's starting to move on. She's starting to move forward, huh, sweetie? You're such a good mama. You are such a good mama. You know, I noticed, too, that um, little girl's paws uh, were um, still kind of webbed. It was, it was like she was born premature, premature yeah. because um, she still had the webbing between her toes, and it looked like maybe I could have separated them if I wanted to, but... I didn't want to try, um, but it looked like they were, for the most part, still attached to each other. Like that, that bit of skin had it completely receded. Um, and so I don't know if that points to anything or if if she just, for whatever reason, was developing more slide. And, and I don't know. Um, you, I did take me? video of Pom Pom as we were showing her that little girl passed. Um, I'll have to check the YouTube terms of service to see if we can post that. I'm curious, we probably like an 18 plus, like all the restrictions and stuff. Yeah, right. We can probably post it because there's all kinds of yeah. stuff posted on YouTube. We just have to, we just have to like, people don't we have to points. rate it, right? Yeah. We just have I, to rate it, right? I, I think it depends on the content. If Cause I mean, it's not like a bad video. It's just uh, had, it's just like a trigger warning. It just needs like a. Yeah, I, oh. Um, but it's it was it's really sweet seeing pom pom process and trying to trying to, trying to get her little baby to <laughs> trying to get um trying to get Drew to help fix her. Yeah. It was really really sad. And I even said to Drew, like, I don't want to videotape this, but I remember how much I hated that I didn't videotape Missy, because it just feels really wrong to video. 
but I'm glad I did. Now looking back, I'm glad I did. As much as like it just feels really, really raw. It feels morbid. So, yeah. Feels and morbid. yeah. But she picked her up and was carrying her around a little bit. Um, we let Missy do that once, and then we never got. Her. We it took forever to get the puppy back, so yeah. we didn't let her go too far. Um, <laughs> but she mostly just wanted wanted us to help. Go see your, go see your baby boys. Side. She's a good girl. She's such a good girl. And, uh, and she uh, is making so much milk that um, Elizabeth uh, Della uh, out in the uh, foyer was howling because she wanted some attention or who knows what was going on. I know, I was trying to get it. You can't pull it out. Well, I'm not going to pull it out. I'm going to cut good. it. Yeah. Uh, but, um, so Elizabeth Del got, nursing yeah, Della went, or, I'm sorry, Elizabeth went and got Della, brought her into the bed with us, and then, uh, when Pom Pom came up to join us for just a, a little bit, Della immediately started nursing on her, so Della has now nursed from three different moms. That's, um, okay, baby, hey, go get your boys, go get your boys. And what was sweet is Pom Pom let her. She just kind of didn't, didn't, curled didn't, up and let her. Yeah, didn't didn't growl we at had, her. We had to pull Della away, actually. Yeah. Yeah, that water bottle that I've been dipping my fingers in to wet her mouth. Uh, I just dump it I was about in. to dump it out in the sink. And I was like, blur, I'll just give it to Pom Pom. Yeah. Oh, it's a good one. Um, but so little girl, she had a very, very peaceful passing. She was snuggled up in, yeah. in uh -huh. Pom Pom's bosom. <laughs> yeah, that's it. There we go. I was saying folds, but yeah, her curled up in her bosom is the, is the proper way to put it. Um, so she was like warm all around as well as on the heating pad. And we also have one of the space heaters blowing on them. So she had that blowing over her. So she was almost kind of like in this little incubator. She was very, she was very comf comfortable when she passed. But we were really, 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 really sad. I think we got a little too hopeful, yeah. considering her health at the time of birth. She was just, a, she was just way too small. So that's our update. Really so, sad, and it was when we came in and when we or when we came down and saw how weak she was, we almost like couldn't believe it because it was in such stark contrast to when we had seen her last. Yeah, and so that's why we think that maybe like Pom Pom had fallen asleep on her, and like that prolonged um, pressure may have just weakened her to a degree that she just couldn't couldn't take in deep enough breaths after that. Okay. It's okay, Pom Pom. Here, you go, go to your baby boys. Go see your baby boys. They want some mama milk. Yeah, go, go, go. Go on. Her little boys are absolutely beautiful. They are, they super are sweet. so Oops, pretty. Sorry. They are super sweet, here, little boys. So enough sad talk about the little girls. Yeah. She, Oops, sorry. She sweetie. was sweet. So the first. We do have beautiful yeah. baby boys. The first one born was this guy. This little guy. Hi, buddy. Say hi. Say hello. So he kind of reminds me of Pippa because his face is completely white. Yeah. If you look closely, the chestnut doesn't come. Oh, and his ear is too. Oh, yeah, he's got a little streak of white on his ear. I um, never noticed that. Yeah. The chestnut only circles around his ear. It doesn't encircle his eyes as well. But, but look at his ear. It's like Pippa's. Yeah, he's got a little streak of white that goes right down the middle. Oops, I guess sorry. we know where the <laughs> gene comes from. Yeah, no kidding. It comes from the, the spike doodle Good boy. And then you got Mr. Magnificent. Number two, he's got, he's got, he's got such a pretty coloring all around. And he's super... Super sweet. Are you trying to? Oh, he's sucking on his on his paws. Oh, he started that when he was yeah, born. He's he like the first puppy we've noticed do that, and he's been doing it ever since. This is, 
I wish I could show it. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's putting his his own his own toes in his, his mouth. Yeah, his own toes in his mouth, and he's sucking on them. Can you do it again? Can you do it again, little boy? Oh, who's this sweet little boy? No. Who's a good boy? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Yeah, here's your toes. You want those toesies. And Pom Pom's instincts have been kicking in more, and she's really, really coming around. Yeah, she started off uh, a little. Um, we were doing everything. For yeah, her we were much. we were doing absolutely everything. She when was, the first puppy was born, she wanted nothing to do with her or with him. With, yeah, with uh, him. When he came out, she wouldn't take off the bag. She wouldn't chew the cord. She wouldn't. She wouldn't do anything. So we we did all of it. Um, it's a very good example for why all births need to be attended. Yeah. Because he would have suffocated and passed away if if we had not been there within a few minutes of his birth. Um, and so. Uh, um, that was a little difficult because that was the first time we've had a one of our dogs have one because usually like even with first time moms when that first puppy comes out when we show them how to do the bag then they'll start ripping at it and then they'll get the cord and then they'll start picking it up yeah but even when we showed her she just kind of turned around and yeah, she turned away. yeah she turned around and was like i don't know what's going on and so she we um this is the yeah the first uh the first mama that we've ever had where we really had to do, you know, 100% of everything. Um, but now she has really come around. She's getting the whole, you know, licking them in order to make them go potty and um, all that sort of stuff. So, so she is learning. She is learning. It is her first litter, so we'll give her a little bit of a And we also thought credit. it was kind of appropriate that... She just had a, a few, or now a couple. Yeah. Um, because if she had had a... Because our, our other moms, their first litters were five and six. One was seven. And so, um, with how it's been a little difficult for her to catch on, it's been perfect that she's only had these, these few, and... They've all been really strong, even though little girl didn't make it. She was still very strong, and so... They didn't require a whole lot of help beyond us kind of guiding them. On, and so if if she'd had six or seven puppies, there would have been, you know... There would have been enough the, to go around. Yeah, it wouldn't have been as easy to... She's got all this extra milk everywhere, so there's just uh, milk plenty. There you go. Good boy. What a good boy. That's a good boy. Good boy. That's it. Get that. That's a big rear and pull. Hey, just, just relax. He's doing good. He's doing good. Let him nurse. One of the issues we've run into with her, which is actually another first, is that um, almost any pressure on her nipples, she kind of winces. And um, so whether it's the puppies or whether it's us just um, uh, grabbing them to latch the puppies, she'll, she'll do what she just did where she lifts her head up. Um, she's gotten a lot better about it. Mm -hmm. And originally she was, um, she would jump up and knock them off. And so it was really difficult at first to help them latch because she was interfering so much. But we kind of, we helped her kind of adjust to it and comforted her through it until she kind of got used to the sensation. I think that was really all it was, is the new sensation. And she also is um, pretty engorged because it's her milk came in for yeah. a litter of puppies. And then we also had this small puppy who isn't um, eating as much, and now we don't have her um, eating for this whole morning. So she's got that engorgement soreness that is... Um, no easier than in people, if anything, I would venture to guess that it's worse because they have all that pressure from 10 different nipples that are being supplied with milk. So, what's up? Just what nothing, just, I saw, thought I saw some comments. 
Who's a good puppy? What a good nurser he is. Don't kick him. Don't kick him, baby. So they're born early, early Monday morning. Yeah. That makes them just over 48 hours old. Oh, that's it. So they're doing, like, for, I don't know if you could see how well his latch, he was latched right there, but he was latched really well. Okay, let him just do his thing, sweetie. I don't know. Let's, well, let's get him on the other one. Um, one of them is over 200 grams already. Yeah, which is awesome. I believe it's number one. I think yeah, he is. One. Yeah. Yeah, white guy. I was going to call. Yeah, so was... See how Drew is um, helping him latch. Or did, so yesterday and earlier this morning, Pom Pom was leaping up and not letting, not letting us do that. Good boy, that's it. Get on that thing. There you go. That's a good boy. Sorry, Drew, did I interrupt you? No, no, it's okay. Oh, I was just thinking of, of names. Um, I was thinking of something. Oh, yeah, we need to pick collar colors. So if anybody has suggestions, um, I can go grab the box. We've got we got a, a new a bunch in that had different new collar colors, like yeah. different blues and greens. And... I was thinking Fat Man and Little Boy. <laughs> little boy. Yeah, well, it's uh, the, and those were the names of the first two atomic bombs. <laughs> you got fat man and little boy. Come on, buddy. Get, on, get back on this nipple. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. No, I'm going to do it. You just want to get cozy warm? Are you... so, so probably go with like, the colors. What's that? Oh, yeah, you could probably just prop it. <laughs> yes. It's a fat man and little boy. <laughs> Come on. Come on, little boy. Interesting colors here. Oh, yeah, those are some good looking colors. Let's get blue. Yeah, it's like, Ooh, a, it's pretty. It's, like, it's like a navy blue. <laughs> Poor pom pom, look at her face. Yeah. She's like, oh, I'm so tired. I was considering, so um, we usually express milk to supplement puppies with, and um, since well, we didn't need to supplement a uh, little girl, but. She has such a surplus of milk. We were considering expressing milk and then putting it in the freezer, just like with human babies. For, yeah, to you know, Paris it. is due. You never know if she might have a six puppy litter and we need some extra milk. Extra milk or something like that. Yeah, no kidding. That's actually a really good idea. Because I've never seen... I, I, it's just crazy to think Pom Pom's so little and she produces so much milk. Well, and especially considering she didn't have milk. Yeah. I forgot he knew that. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Alright, which color colors? We've got the whole rainbow. Yeah, we've got the whole rainbow and more. Like this, like that navy one and the green. The two of those together, Erlen's. Looks nice. Okay. And of course, we'll save the red browns for. Browns are pretty too. Yeah, the browns are pretty, but we'll save the red one for uh, the little girl. That's like our our tradition is um, any any pups that pass away get a red collar. Oh man, that pink would have looked so yeah. good on a little girl. I like those three yeah, those Easter three, colors. Yeah, those three colors right there. Yeah, those ones are really pretty. Those will be pretty for uh, girls. Yeah, it's like it's got you get those ones for girls and like these ones for some boys. Yeah, it's like the fancies. Yeah. Yeah, that's like a, those would be nice colors. They're like handsome colors. I'm gonna give you this back because I'm. That heater is making me toasty hot. Ugh. Can you open up the chat on your phone? Yes, I can. Ugh. 
Oh yeah, I see what you mean. Sorry for all the motion. It's okay, sweetie. You're such a good girl, sweetie pie. And since we weren't expecting Pom Pom to go into labor as early as she did, um, we didn't have her immediately with us because that's that last week that we make sure they're with us 24 seven. And, um, she was hanging out with the other dogs before it was, you know, time to bring her in for bed. And, um, we just heard a yelp and I turned to Drew and I was like, that really, that sounds like, um, one of the dog, like the dogs are mating and tying off cause they'll, they'll yelp when they do and but we don't have anybody in heat right now and so Drew turned to me and he was like or there's a puppy being delivered or a puppy coming out and so I ran over and um called for her and she kind of came like um uh, waddling over and sure enough the puppy was about what like a third of the way out yeah a third of the way out, and, and she was yelping because it was, you know, her first puppy, and so she was really scared and had no idea what was going on. But she had had no signs of, absolutely zero signs of labor. Even in hindsight, looking back, searching for signs of labor, we can't find any. Um, like, usually they get a way, they get a whole lot more affectionate. Um, I attribute that to, like, them being uncomfortable and just wanting your comfort. Um, but she wasn't any more affectionate than usual. She didn't pant at all. They usually, they almost always pant. Um, and even during labor, she didn't really pant a whole lot. Nisha says, how about orange and brown for the fall colors? Ooh, like Thanksgiving. Ooh, those are actually very good Thanksgiving colors. And then Shalini said green and purple. Um, so there, there are a few questions um, that uh, people were uh, extending. Um, so yes, this is Pom Pom's very first litter, and um, someone also asked, like, is it uh, abnormal to have such a small litter? And with this being her first, uh, it's like you, you never really know. You, you don't have a, a good estimation when it's their first litter. We know going forward now that perhaps Pom Pom's litters will only be maybe three or four pups. Um, and we'll just have to... Uh, and I don't know if this makes a difference at all, but usually we mate our dogs three or four times. And we had really struggled getting Pom Pom to mate, and she only mated once. And so I don't know if that makes any difference, right. but... Um, that would admit yeah, that if was it, yeah if it, if it makes a difference then hopefully now that she has the hang of it she, hopefully she'll be like, like she and um it'd be nice if uh, she made it with macchiato next time yeah anyway um and then let's see so sh thomas uh would like to talk to us about paris paris's letter sometime uh, oh, i'm so excited for paris's puppies he is, it looks like SH is uh, in, he says Connecticut. So um, we, we'll uh, try to reach out to you, um, SH Thomas, if you can. Um, if you go on to the um, available puppies page, on our you'll find my, deep down at the very bottom, I kind of made it difficult to find, but you'll find my personal cell phone number. Um, it's not on the, the, it's not the number that's on the main page because it's not like the publicly available one that we have listed, yeah. but it's on the available puppies page. If you, um, go to the available puppies page to the very bottom, um, you'll find it. Yeah. And, um, uh, honestly, text mess messages work best. Uh, we like, you know, we're, we're a, a busy family and so doing phone calls are, are difficult. 
Um, it's difficult to kind of pick up the phone at a, at a moment's notice. Yeah. Or even, like, um, to carry on a conversation after um, so many minutes with, with the young kids. Yeah. So, um, but, but to it, initial initial conversations, texting is easiest to get a hold of us yeah. just because it's easiest, easy for us to read and respond, um, even if kids are screaming in the background. Right, exactly. Yeah. Kids screaming in the background, sometimes it's just easier to, to send a text. Look how well they're latched. I know, I'm really surprised. Can, you can see real well his, that spot. He's the boy version of Pippa. So who gets what collar? Oh, can you grab scissors? Yeah, sure. Um, that's a good question. I like the Yeah, I like the fall colors too. Ooh, which brown do you want to do? Do you like that one? I like that one. Yeah, I think that's kind of like a turkey brown. Yeah. Imagine having a puppy that's so big you need a collar that big. Oh, screw that. <laughs> that would be a big That means puppy. that means your moms and dads are huge. huge. Yeah. You're like Irish wolfhound big. We just wouldn't have a room. How do I maybe we don't have one? Yeah, I don't yeah. That'd be very difficult. I um, love their size. You you say that you usually go to that grant go you cut just a little bit past the Wow, these have a lot of Velcro. I've never seen them with Velcro that long. That's what they are. Yeah. So just cut yeah. it just, just beyond that? Yep. Mm. Yeah. It's been uh, a tough couple of days. They are just, uh, what did you say, a little over 48 hours now? Yeah, a little over 48 hours. It's like three something. Three something. Yeah, First puppy was, was born three something in the morning, or in the morning, whatever. Oh, somebody just sent another message. You want to hold this so I can put them on? Sure. Is it a little bit too much? Like I, think the, I think the board that they were folded onto is bigger, so... Ooh, bigger. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. If that's too much, then... Nah, right it'll, it'll be good. It's good. We're good. We're good. Oh, are they too close in color? I was say, is there another orange? The ceiling. That's the only orange. But there's, there's, other, like a... there's other browns, because that turkey brown, it's kind of... It's, I, I'm surprised putting it next to it. Next yeah, they, they look very close. Like, yeah. once this one gets dirty. <laughs> yeah, right. Like said, there's um. two other browns over here. Put the orange up next to them and see what that looks like. Oh, yeah. I'd go with the... Uh, well, what about this and yellow? Or orange and yellow? We're making this so much more difficult. I know we're to, making to, to put collars on yeah. two puppies. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, there's too many to choose from. <laughs> I like the. I still like the idea of orange and brown, but I like the. It would have to be the light one. I think. Yeah, I think that. Uh, I'll do the. I'm kind of <laughs> sick of orange though. Oh. Orange is not a good looking color on a on a blenum. Nah, it is, just isn't. Yeah. And so I was thinking more like 
Like. What about that color, that brown that we put that in the yellow? That's good. Oh, man, I wish we could use red. Because, like, <laughs> red and orange would be actually be perfect. I don't know. Okay, little girl yellow could have gone on her. Would have been, like, our Thanksgiving trio. <laughs> I, I would say use the yellow with that brown. No, we'll do the orange because um, it's, well... You said you wanted to keep this brown? Yeah, I was gonna say you can use that brown and the and the yellow. Or do we do the orange and one of these browns? You could do that. Let's see, Let's Let's see if anybody else made any suggestions. Is, um... Yeah, these are way longer. There we go. That's good. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'll work. That'll work nicely. That's like perfect turkey. You it's know like what? turkey feather colors. Put, put the brown one on Mr. White. <laughs> on oh, a, yeah. Let's on, add some, some on, chestnut on, to him. On Fat Man. <laughs> you know, I think you're right because his face makes has a sort of Fat Man face. <laughs> hey, Pudgy. Is it too much? Yeah, it's too long. Well, I have a feeling that he's going to need it. Yeah, true. He might grow into it. He is going to grow into it. Which is surprising considering how mm -hmm. little mm -hmm. little pom -pom, pom pom is. Yeah. We try not to give any more than like three days of growth in there, because if we do, then their paws get stuck when they're when they're snoodling mom at night. <laughs> they they reach up. And if this is too loose and it's hanging down, they'll they'll get their paws stuck up in there. I think you guys might have, may have, some of you may have seen Mr. Orange get his paw stuck in there. Yeah. We've had we've had people send us messages. Yeah, saying, even yeah. I think Cheyenne or not Cheyenne, um, Charlotte. Yeah. Got her paw stuck in one of one of the the breakaways. Fat man, little boy. <laughs> She's I love when they're latched like underneath her legs. I know. I think it's funny. It's like they're. The nipple will come to me. <laughs> um, if any of you guys are having happen to be watching the live stream and you see their paws in there, definitely do let us know in the chat. Um, because from our vantage point. You know, it's different from where the camera is, and you guys can see a different angle that we're not always seeing. And so if you guys can see it, we might not be able to. And so don't be afraid to say something. Because we don't want them to be yeah. stuck. Because if, if they have their front paw stuck in there, then they're not able to get around very well. is uh in both record. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Fat Look at that one. I know. He, he got himself cozy. And yeah, for the folks that were asking, like, is this a, a normal size or you know, is this abnormal for the um their their her litter or whatever? Um, honestly, we're just happy that there's, there were multiple because, uh, we have read that it's very bad for the a puppy's development if it's just one of them by themselves. A singleton, singleton. Yeah. Yeah. If it's just a single pup that, 
either is born or there's only a single pup that survives birth. Um, it's you need to have each yeah. other to be. We call it snoodling, but that's when they're kind of crawling around um, based on scent, kind of looking for mom and kind of crawling over and under each other. We call it snoodling. We don't know the, if there is a word for it, but that's what we call it. So if you hear us say snoodling, that's what we're talking about. But um, we're reading up on how it's actually a very important part of their developmental um, milestones in these early days. It helps with their socialization and that dogs, any puppies who, who grow up um, as an only puppy um, will sometimes experience more issues with aggression um, as adults. Uh, back it up just a little bit, it's a little fuzzy. And so, um, they even, the, the vet actually said that if that ever happens, if we ever have a, just one puppy or if something happens to the puppies and we're, we go down to one puppy, um, to actually look for breeders in the area who might have um, a litter of puppies close in age because it is so important for their development to be with other puppies that it's better to put them with another mom and another litter. It's always good to have a network of breeder friends for those sorts of reasons. Yeah. There's different resources that you can't just find anywhere. Right. How beautiful is he? Yeah, he is super pretty. I asked Drew if we could keep him as a stud. <laughs> he always says no to me. It wasn't no, or when Alfie was born, yeah. he, if I had said yes to Alfie, he would have let, he would have yeah. kept him. But when I want a puppy. <laughs> we could have kept that Alfie boy. Hi, sweetie. What's up, baby girl? Can I help you? Or something that you need. Hey, Nisho. Thank you. I think they're adorable too. There's, there's, there was, so three were born, um, but the one who passed away this morning, she was only born at 96 grams, which is really small. About half of the healthy birth weight of a Cavalier puppy. Um, we like to see them at least 150 grams, ideally 180. Um, and so um, really any puppies that are born less than 150 usually need help. Still looking for her. Oh, pom pom pom. <laughs> yeah, touch on there. <laughs> huh, what'd you say? Uh, I feel bad for her. Pom Pom just jumped in our bed looking for a little girl. What's so unfortunate is, I mean, when we weighed her, we almost kind of knew, like, she's just not going to survive. But then she nursed so well, and she filled up so well. And, yeah, she was really strong. And she was, she, like, had the normal, typical mannerisms of a newborn puppy. She just seemed physically a little immature and so that was the one oddity and so we didn't know if maybe it was possible like the egg fertilized just like two days later we don't know if that could be possible but you know hey crazy things have happened yes crazy things have happened <laughs> sorry I locked you in Drew just shut me into the crate Little boy, he's such a good girl. He's a good girl. Oh, this orange looks really good on him. Yeah. I'm totally wrong about the orange and <laughs> Blenheims. This looks really good on him. Traumatized still from Mr. Orange. That's it. That's, That's what it. it is. Yep. It is what it is. 
Yeah. I have like an icky feeling about it, and that, that yeah. you. I had that. I had that thought. You too, but... nailed it. For anybody who uh, who is interested, we've been getting uh, good feedback from um, Robin's uh, letter that uh, pups are at home and and uh, assimilating well. So that's always good news. I'll let you go. I'll let you go, little man. Seeing Pom Pom do this is amazing because she um, was not interested in them at all <laughs> initially. Um, that little video I put, that little 10 second video I, I shared where um, she was kind of nosing, nosing this one. It was like those 10 snippet seconds out of <laughs> hours <Yeah. laughs> that she actually did that. It was like the only, the only, like, I didn't have any video to post until the next morning because she just really wanted nothing to do with them. And until we got that one little bit of footage, that 10 seconds where she actually kind of checked him out. <laughs> then she was like, I oh, screw this. And she peaced out for a few hours. But she's, she's rethinking those those ideas now. She loves her babies very much. She's a good mama, huh? She's a good And you know, having the two without a sickly one with it being Pom Pom's first litter and, and her being probably the the mom who str has struggled the most with the first litter um, that we've had, having two to raise is probably ideal, um, just for to give her an opportunity to learn and get the hang of it without all the pressure of seven puppies coming after her for milk because they're hungry. Yeah, I, I don't know how many of you followed Robin and Daisy, especially in the early days, but um, uh, I think it's Daisy who got real intimidated by the puppies um, all coming up to her once they were a couple days old and they had that sort of a vigor. Did you guys catch that, her licking his face? Such a good girl, Pom Pom. So we don't have any nicknames for these guys yet. Um, we don't have any homes lined up for them either, so we don't have... Um, we, we usually just kind of find homes as kind of as they come um so we don't have anybody in particular for them just yet uh so we don't have names to give them right away so we'll probably need some nicknames for the meantime oh that was fat man and little boy oh yeah that's right <laughs> fat man and little boy fat man and little boy and then so whenever... fm and lb <laughs> that's obviously the same thing although lb should be fat man <laughs> Cause he's the LBs. Oh yeah, he's the extra LBs. But yeah, whenever uh, whenever someone comes along and um, decides to uh, adopt these guys, then whatever their names are, uh, 
whatever they want their names to be, we will change it. That's part mm -hmm. of our thing is we, we, we love to start calling them by their names as soon as we know what their names are going to be. Yeah, um, some people have been asking why Mr. Orange hasn't found a family yet, and it's it, um, part of the, boo. or Mr. Orange, yeah. Mr. Orange cheese, <laughs> boo, cheddar boo. Um, we're we're go going through inquiries now, actually, and I do believe he's, like, tentatively um, off the market. But um, the reason for that usually is that we don't really actively look for homes. We don't put out advertisements for them um, because we're, we don't want to draw in the wrong people. So instead we let people contact us and then we kind of evaluate the family from there. Yeah, we've had, we've had really good luck doing that where instead of advertising, we kind of let, let fate take its, take its course. At least he wasn't hiding his face. Oh, dang. Oh, Nisho came up with um, pumpkin pie and pecan pie. Yeah, that's and awesome. Pumpkin and pecan. Oh, man, that's good. Can you bring the tripod over here? Sure. Lower it. Pom-pom, you silly dog. She's like, I intentionally tried to avoid Spike and his pole. <laughs> That's why we only got one meeting in. <laughs> Spike is relentless. <laughs> oh, you know what? Bingo, bingo, bingo. Stick it over there. And then... okay. that we got a uh, pump on. Oops, sorry. For anyone who might be wondering, we know that normally we have the uh, um, the the kiddie pool. Um, you know, pom pom just surprised us. That yeah, much. yeah. Pom pom surprised us uh, so quickly with uh, the pups coming. We were gonna live stream her whole delivery. That's, yeah, we were so disappointed. Yeah, we were planning on live streaming and everything, but it, like she just you know out of nowhere, like she didn't show any signs of of um, being in labor. Because normally the you know the the dogs will pant or they'll be really clingy or anything like that. And like we've seen a lot of people going back and looking at the video of when uh, Chance was getting picked up and we had. Um, all the pups come out and meet uh, Heather and Ryan, and um, a lot of people have been looking back at uh, when Pom Pom was in the, uh, the living room. That yeah, so you should. Can, yeah, so people can get to it. That's so you can idea. see what, how Pom Pom looked when yeah. she was approximately twelve hours. Twelve hours away before, from. Yeah. yeah, she was in labor. So there's no yeah. way she was not in labor at that yeah, point. Yeah, she was in labor at that point, and just, so they didn't know it. And they had no idea. No idea that it, almost 12-ish hours later, a little bit more than 12 hours later, we would be having some some puppies, huh? Oh, sweetie, what a good girl. It's I think okay. it was all the excitement. It was yeah. Heather and yeah, everybody did. coming over. It was all the excitement. And what else? Man, I'm just kidding. I don't. That doesn't actually happen. That's just a myth. But I just like to say it does. Yeah. Yes. 
Oh, Mochi's family. That's right, Mochi's family. Hi there, Dust Rat. Oh, no, 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 no. Let me get to you. Here, let me go back in here. Glad you could join us. Meet Pom Pom's boys. Good girl. Good girl, Pom Pom. I would say, but yeah, Khan would be the brown guy, and Pumpkin would be an orange. That's a, I really like those. So we get one new show. Somebody, sweetie. Who's that? Is he climbing up? She grabbed that uh, purple 
uh, blanket and start like, like making it into a nest. Aww. Did she put that on there? I didn't put it in there. I mean, it was in there, but I think that she grabbed it. And, I mean, you can yeah, look at my phone and back it up. For a little bit of context for those of you who are joining us um, more recently, we have, when, whenever we deliver puppies, we um, stay very close with them. We monitor them very closely. Um, we have, in fact, when mom is part of why we were explaining that we we're kind of caught off guard with her going to labor is that toward the end of pregnancy, we make sure mom is with us all the time. And so she sleeps with us at night and we hadn't brought her into bed yet. And so that was why we kind of uh, missed the beginning there. But so she sleeps with us at night and then we whelp the litter in our bedroom. And because it's quieter, calmer in here and we can keep it darker um, and the kids out and the kids know that if they're in our room, they have to be quiet because of the babies. Because even if their ears are closed, they can feel the vibration of anger and those sorts of things, and we don't want to stress them out. Um, and so right now they're in our bedroom. They're, they're kind of situated at the foot of the bed. Um, and when they're about two weeks old or so, we'll be closer to three. When, after A couple days after their eyes have opened, we will move them out into a corner um, out of our bedroom. But in kind of a small tucked away corner that's in a common area of the house.
We also have food and water um, for Pom Pom. Right, it's right behind the camera, pretty much. It's on the other side of the setup here. Um, getting them to eat after they've delivered is usually very difficult. And so we <clears throat> make sure they have food so that at any time, if their appetite kicks in, they have it there to eat. Um, and then throughout the day, we use a, a fortified gel that we put across the top. Um, it tastes like maple syrup and so they love it and it's packed with nutrients and all kinds of good stuff and so it kind of helps keep them from uh, getting sickly thin from lack of appetite. Uh, fortunately she's only got the two that are going to be um, needing her nutritional support so uh, that helps. Uh, Daisy especially usually has, usually struggles with um, putting weight back on after delivery. And so um, having a big litter certainly doesn't help. So when she's just got the two to feed, you know, it's just, um, that fewer puppies that need to be sustained. real sweet because Daisy came in here um, I had an idea to kind of kickstart her uh, maternal instincts I thought maybe if we did sort of a controlled introduction with one of the other dogs that maybe it would spark her protective um, nature and she's such a she's such a sweet dog um, she and Daisy get along so well that she just kind of, she was with the puppies like this. And when I brought Daisy and I was holding her because I just, I didn't know how anybody would react. And, um, I was holding her and Pom Pom stood up from the babies and she just kind of stepped to the side and stepped out and almost as if to invite Daisy in. And so Daisy started trying to get out of my arms and Pom Pom stepped closer to us. And so I let Daisy get closer and we kind of played that, played that a little bit and just kind of, I didn't want to, didn't want to, um, make Pom Pom uncomfortable or push her or anything, but she almost, it was like she wanted to show her puppies off to Daisy. It was really sweet. She, Daisy stepped in here very slowly and Pom Pom came in behind her and they both, um, checked out the puppies and Pom Pom curled up with little girl and one of the boys and Daisy curled up with one of the, the other boy and they both laid down with them and snuggled them. And I, it was just, it was the most precious thing. I didn't have my phone with me, of course, because that's just the way it goes in life. I didn't have my phone, so I couldn't video it, but I'm not gonna bring Daisy in here again without having my phone because it was, I really wish I had that on tape. Look at him go! See, he's just over two days old. That is amazing. Pom pom. <laughs> now, this blanket, we don't usually leave like loose blankets with them. Since I'm directly supervising, we're, I'm just leaving it here for now because Pom Pom wanted to snuggle with it and make a bed. So, but, um, before I leave, her unsupervised, I'll move that out. Good girl.
You've got lots of milk, you need to feed those babies. It's gonna start hurting more. You're a good girl. You're such a good mama. You're such a good mama. So you can see we've got the heater right there, space heater. I hung this blanket at the end to kind of encapsulate the heat. Pom Pom, sweetie, I'm gonna take the blanket because I don't want the puppies to get lost in there. Because they will, sweetie. I know it's cozy. Pom Pom loves blankets. I know, sweetie. I'm gonna bring it back.
um, in a couple of minutes here, um, I will, I'm going to edit the description of the live stream to link the intro videos that I made of these guys, um, so that for those of you who have not got to, gotten to see the little girl, um, sorry, I just call her little girl, um, I, I posted a video when they were like six hours old, um, when she was still pretty weak, and then I posted another video when they were about 12 hours old, and after she had made a whole bunch of improvements, um, and so she looks really good from between the first video to the second video, and so you'll probably be able to understand, you know, our, our disappointment. But I'm going to go and edit those into the description if you are interested in finding them.
Oh my goodness, that is dark. I'm going to brighten it up. to let you guys know that I put the, I edited the, edited, I'm sorry, <clears throat> into the description the videos that introduced the three puppies so that if you hadn't seen <clears throat> the little girl or if you want to go back and look at her again now that, um, now that you kind of know the outcome, um, I shared the links in the description. First to, the, the first one is when they were about six hours old. Um, she wasn't even completely cleaned yet, um, and you can tell in the video. And then I shared another one when they were about 12 hours old because her, she had improved so much. Um, so it's, I'm, I'm really glad I took those videos. Um, I have a video of us, um, of when we were helping Pom Pom process everything. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to share it without violating terms. What, sweetie? We can go and get May? Yep, we'll get her um, in about 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Yep. Uh, I don't bring my soap in. I don't bring my soap Mommy? You'll see me. You're not my dog. Hold on, sweetie.
smells so good. You know how people say some people like 25 subs? Yeah. I have 37. This is a carnation look.
survived that. Oh my gosh. Watch out, old dear. Let's go. You're such a good girl. Is today day two? Hi there. Um, we're going to go ahead and restart Pom Pom's stream um, so that we can post this one as a video since we introduced Pom Pom and talked about her labor and delivery and all that. So I want to keep that separate. But we'll restart this stream so that you guys can watch them and see them. Um, but if you... Hang tight for just a second. After this one ends, it will take you to um, Daisy's puppies in the meantime until this one restarts. But we'll be back on with 